So they put a cap to 25 players on the PTR and they said they were just experimenting with the flex mode and because not a lot of people did it, they said, screw those people that do it in particular, screw those people that like taking 30 people into the raid because uh, they are having fun and there is not enough people having fun. So that little people that take 30 people into the raid, we would like them to be zero. And after testing the PTR, they chose uh, hit a, a brick wall called the community. And the community was not very happy on Twitter. I saw some of the tweets and they were replying some really silly stuff, honestly. Like that was the actual reply. Like some guy said, why can't I take 30 people to a raid? Why do you care if I take 30 people? And Dagrend uh, just sat down. Can I see that tweet? Can I see that tweet really quick? Let's see. Okay, here it is, here it is. I found it, I found it. Uh, I hope you're well. I would like to inquire as to why you, cho you chose to squeeze the player cap in raids to 25 people. Uh, a lot of us built rosters based on the precedent you set and now we have to bench people. And this is the answer he had because the data indicated that the majority of guilds, 99 plus, raid with less than 25 people and from our own experience played with more than that felt kind of silly because of course uh, it feels kind of silly for you so they gotta put a gun in your head and go like okay you, you I don't like how, how doing that so any people that do that and they are not hurting anybody they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Combine that with the fact that the more people you have the more loot competition it can feel bad with too many mouths to feel. That's exactly the payoff. That's exactly the disincentive to to disencourage it happening. There is already like a, a balancing thing. You yourself are saying less than 1% of the play people are doing it, which that's a data point I heavily contest. I heavily contest that it's less than 1% people that are taking more than 25. Ultimately, we are trying things and the 20 player rates allowing 40 was another experiment. Apparently the, the Twitter account is dead because he shut it down or something, but he got rage you can see right there like that's a 50% ratio uh, people get kind of upset don't take literally the same thing you think you do mindset but from a re-release my guild runs 30 it's an activity we gather to have fun with each other we enjoyed being able to bring on new people without fear of anybody being benched or missing missing out leading them to stop playing this is such a bad decision even if the mass, vast majority of the guilds run 25 don't give us freedom just to remove it I know several guilds running 25 upwards to 35 man it allows for attendance freedom that is not possible with these caps we are gonna have to bench it sucks so yeah you can see like people were kind of mad there and personally like i talked about this before if they go through with the change and the cap where you can only take 25 i will not under any circumstance make a stream raid anymore like ever because my stream raids, I take random people from chat. I have never checked logs for anybody except the off tank. And that's pretty much it. Because I know 10 people are going to suck. But if you got 30 people and 10 people suck, that's not a problem. If you got 25 people and 10 people suck, you're not killing the bosses. So that essentially killed my stream raids if they went through with that cap. So after looking at the changes, because once again, they just do not feel the community at all. They are like completely out of touch with the community. They just rolled it back. Following a great deal of player feedback we adjusted these rates so Anquirash allows 10 to 20 players and Temple allows 20 to 40 players and the Nightmare Grove yada 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 that's the world boss while we intend to keep this raid test open till Monday we cannot guarantee that we will be able to quickly address any issues especially later this week yada yada we close the PTR December whatever, whatever. so they were like completely shocked at people just telling them it was not a great idea I mean, why? Why do you care? That's just like, and I get it. I appreciate it because at least they heard the feedback and they acted on it. Eon Hasikostas would not, would not act on it. Like if 90% if of the players tell him that something is stupid, he's going to say, yeah, but I'm smarter than you. So shut up. That's Eon Hasikostas. Agrend is a lot better. At least he listens. But it's just concerning like the logic behind this. That's what's concerning to me. Like you see 1% of the player base doing something that doesn't affect anybody. It has a cost to it. It's not an exploit. It. It's not the most efficient way to raid. It's just something that some people like to do. They just take it away. Why? Like just that not a lot of people do it. It doesn't it doesn't affect the game negatively. People are not hurting anybody doing it. And the people that do it enjoy it because there is no loot reason to do it. It's just because they enjoy doing it. And just because not enough people do it, they gotta take it away. It cannot be allowed. Like how do you how rotten is 
the culture inside that you just hit that decision like that. Like, I'm trying to come up with any explanation. Like, how do you come to that conclusion? Less than 10% of the viewers of any YouTube video make it to the end, to the very end of the video, for example. Like, if you make a, a 15 minute video and 100 people see it, maybe 10 people are gonna get to the end of the video. Does that mean I, I have to stop making, like, I can just take the last 15 minutes of a video and not make it? That's the logic you gotta go for, that not a lot of people do it, so it shouldn't exist? It's just dumb. It's just dumb. If you could tell me like a reason why the cap affects the game negatively, I would like, uh, at least we, we could have a discussion, but not enough people do it. That's not an argument. That's just, I don't know. Thank God they worked back on it. Thank God they worked back on it. Yeah, just data-driven text. If you torture a statistic long enough, it will tell you whatever you want to see. Okay, like decisions made on metrics are really stupid. And once again, every time I feel obligated to say that I am glad that Agren is running classic and not Eon because there we've been through worse. That's the worst part. That's how low my expectations are for Blizzard that at least it's not Eon. At least it's not Eon. God damn it, man. Subscribe to the main channel to catch the stream live. Also, join the Discord. Don't be a Winnie Hat Junior.